Hey, it's the AK Option Trader back with you once again for another video update. So let's jump right into it. Last week was a real good week for me. Uh, finally had some nice put selling and uh, or put selling some put some some good down movement in the market. I was able to get a hold of that and had some real good plays last week. And uh, obviously, you know, I'm I'm bent towards the downside right now, just because I think we're really into an over overbought area in this market. Um, and I just don't think the fundamentals back it up. I, I still think the economy's in shambles. I still think unemployment's way too high. I still think housing is not doing nearly as good as they tell us it is. So I'm a skeptic. Call me a skeptic. That's what I am. But uh, that's why I trade. That's why I'm bent to it. But I'll play to the upside if I see a move to the upside. And we might be having one soon. So let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. All right. Let's start the VIX like we always do. You can see the VIX has moved up uh, this line. It never did close beneath this line here. So this is my little support line. It closed beneath this one here, or never closed beneath this right here either. So, um, but we'll just call this area because it was touched three times here. So I, I like it. And that's what I'm. That's what I'm using. It stayed here. So I'm watching this area. And we we actually had a break to the upside. And we've actually closed and actually made uh, a new high. Uh, pretty similar to back here. We didn't get uh, up to up this high, but we got higher than both of these. So I actually made a little bit of new high, but you can see it wasn't a strong move. It kind of sold off here at the end, um, leaving us a real top wick here. So I'm going to keep an eye on the VIX, see if it if it stays above this level. Okay, it may retreat a bit. It may retrace down to here, here, somewhere in here. But if it stays above this, then I would say this uh, is bearish for the market. Okay, if it breaks this, obviously it's bullish for the market. Okay, so real simple. So let's take a look at the Dow. I'm starting these on 10-year. Um, looking back to 10-year because there's a few things I want to show you. So this is 10-year daily charts that we're starting with here. Here's those down channels. We're going to look at them again. Every few weeks we, we pull these out just to see where we're at in the big picture. So this we broke out of this right here. And you can see it's been good. Uh, uh, was a great signal for a, uh, for a put time uh, down there. Great breakout of the channel. Now we're back in it and trying to move back up it. But we're finding a little bit of support right now in the Dow. If we zoom in a little bit more, you can see we're right here on top of these this area here, which offered pretty good resistance. So this 96.23 area, that has now become support. And it looks like it might hold as support right here. If you look at this, uh, nothing real strong signaling that's going to break through. Nothing super strong saying it's going to break or, or hold right now. I mean, it's uh, I guess it could be a little bit of a spinning top, but not a strong one uh, right there. Wouldn't be surprised to see like a uh, hammer hang man right on this line here something like this. If we see this over on this line here, then I'd be playing to the upside. From there, obviously if it breaks, uh, I think we're not going to see any more support until down here. So it's actually be a really good area to get some put action going right there. Let's take a look at the S&P. SPX, is, it calls it on my profit charts. And there you can see our wedge Everything in the big picture. Here's my downtrend line. Yes, I, this anomaly here. I know you guys have talked about it before. Several people have written me emails about it. But anyway, that's what I do. Like it or leave it. Um, we got I got the fib lines on here, and these fib lines right here. This here, the 50 is 1120. Okay, so the 50 fib is 1120. All right, so that's right up in here. This is your 50 fib. Most people were calling for a retracement there off the 50 fib. Um, you know. I thought it was possible, but my biggest thing was that gap, and I've told you guys about the gap. It's kind of the reason I, I show this chart. Let's look back here on the monthly on this, and my computer's slow. I'm doing my updates here, but this line here, uh, and I'll show you better on the spiders, but this candle right here, it's not on the fib. I don't have it on here. Let's watch this candle right there. on the. This is a monthly right here, so right here. Uh, watch this on the spiders when we come to it, okay? But basically, it's holding up on a fib on a monthly. You can see it sitting around it right here, um, right now. So it's going to take something to break that. Um, obviously, looking at this chart, it looks this is a monthly chart again. It looks like it's going to offer support right there, okay? So if I take these drawings off, you can see it a little bit better. So right in here, sitting on the 200 moving average on the fib after breaking through it pretty simply. Um, you put the drawings back in, you can see that fib, the 38.2 fib, is right there offering support as well. Did not offer a lot of resistance on the way down so this one to keep an eye on but it, it's, it gives us perspective that this move could down move could stall out real quick okay real quick and and I will not be confident in a break until this trend line right here is broken so I'll keep watching for this and uh, it'll probably hold this time so look at the NASDAQ all right same type of thing 10-year chart go ahead and zoom in on a little bit here's that downtrend line I've been watching we broke this obviously here held support I talked about it at the time 
uh, held his resistance, came down here, retested the support, come back up. So now we got this wedge, this uh, ascending pennant, ascending wedge heading up here, which is usually a bearish symbol. All right, it's usually a pretty bearish thing. So keep an eye on it. It's going to move up into it. When we get into here, it's supposed to break out. Of course, it held real strong at this 2167, which was a line we had put right here based off of this level here. And that level did hold as resistance. You can see it held beautifully as resistance. Also coincided with the top of this pin it this rising pin it again this is another one I would not really short this until this trend lines broke I mean I'd short it short term which I've done but I wouldn't go short until this is broke in fact I'd think about going long if we get a reversal candle right down in here all right so while we're looking at that let's go ahead and pull up the cues same type of thing just so you can see some volume and some other stuff with it cues looks a little bit different it's a little bit flatter not so much uh, I have this area here as basically a neckline right I mean, if you got a, a weak head and shoulders there, and then their downtrend line right here, the break of it coming back up. Here's our pennant. Here's our, uh, we got kind of a uh, spinning top forming near the bottom here. And uh, it's looking like it'll probably hold, probably drop a little bit more, and then probably hold in this area. Could stall out right here, but it'll probably hold down here somewhere. Um, and that's what I would expect. So be watching for that. If it breaks this, obviously I'm going to be buying puts like crazy. Okay. And then spiders. And I wanted to go, let's start with the monthly on the spiders. Give it a second to boot up. I know it's real slow. I'm getting into a lot of this stuff today. Anyway, so here's the spiders. Remember I was telling you watch this level right here. 107.53, which happens to coincide with the bottom of this uh, candle right here. Which is the wick, which on the monthlies somewhat critical which this happened to hold off on you can see my retracements for the day and if you look at these when we go to the daily you'll see where they come into play so this met some really good resistance in fact it looks even better on the daily what is that number I don't know if you've been paying attention it's the gap right there that's all that is and you remember me talking about this gap right here offering resistance if you remember a few weeks ago I said that would be the most logical place for for us to see resistance on there is that gap all right and we did and it offered pretty strong resistance now two scenarios if it breaks out of this you can see my channels I've been setting up here if it breaks out of this ascending channel down here it's probably gonna find a little bit of support here but I would say the main support would be right here off of this inverse head and shoulders okay so I'd be looking for support if it continues down if it breaks it might hold here and then head on the way back up so we'll be watching for that but if this does break first support probably around here somewhere second support is probably gonna be down in here somewhere in this inverse headline okay so that's kind of what we're looking at the indices and some of the major major trading stocks we're gonna go ahead and pause for a second and I'm gonna to go to a normal chart all right we don't have a lot of time because I spent too much time on the other stuff anyway here's ADTN you can see it just meet resistance coming up here retesting it for the second time I like this to hold probably retest this bottom trend line down here if it breaks the easy stop is $25 if it breaks this then obviously we got to play bullish you got earnings coming up so watch that but I'd, I'd be thinking this might hold right in there okay so that's ADTN next one BLUD what's up blood I like this to hold this trend line to hold right here you got a you got a uh, hammer on it sitting on this support if it breaks I think we're in for a major fall down here to 1550 something like that if it holds obviously we're looking up into here to near $19 all right nice and easy good simple stuff dig and dug dig and dug are one I've been watching lately so this is dig the ultra oil and gas looks like it's bottoming right here looks like it's not even gonna hit this here looks like we're gonna see a little bottoming action maybe another move up on dig does that confirm with Doug let's take a quick look Doug same thing meeting nice resistance right here had this line in for a while I was watching for it to break it when I break it you go short now it's retesting it. it's got a hammer on top there retesting uh, I'd like it to hold right there okay so that was dig and Doug real quick Let's throw Hanson in. That's probably about all the time we're going to have for maybe one more. Hanson, same thing as ADTN. Look at this. Kind of like a rounded bottom coming up, hit. If it breaks this, we should be able to, we should see like a $3 move to the upside. Okay. So, you know, if it breaks this, 2 or $3 move to the upside. If it holds right here, which it looks like it might be holding here, um, we should see uh, back down to this level and somewhere in 32 So $3 either, either side. So that'd be a real nice option play if you're able to get in on it. And let's show one more for the crowd out there is Rig. Rig is finding support right here. It actually broke through it a little bit, this 83 level. And actually, this line's off a bit. But if I was to move it down just a smudge, 
So it'll be 82.92. It actually closed beneath this line here. So I'll be watching this to see if we get follow through. If we do, uh, I'll be looking for this to fill this gap down at 77. A five dollar move. That's a pretty good move. So if it stays beneath this on Monday, that's what I'll be watching for. Thursday is going to be a busy day. We've got a lot of information coming out, a lot of data coming out. All right. So, but like I said, we got support areas nearby. If we break through these up trends we're in right now, I'll be looking for that support to come and play real soon. All right. So this will be AK Option Trader signing off. Trade well and prosper, people.